Kansas has done what Villanova and Raleigh Massimino did that night. They shot well from the field. They knocked down when they were open. They hit their field goals. They've hit 64% in this game here tonight against the talented Sooners of Oklahoma. 81-79, Kansas leading by two. And they had that shooting percentage up in the high 70s through most of the first half. realizing he has no more time out, so anything he's going to say to this club, he's got to say in this huddle. Looking for that breath. <laughs> Manning's hands. Danny Manning now will come up to the free throw line with five seconds remaining. Just two off the clock. Good strategy by Billy Tubbs. All he can hope for now is that Manning does not convert it to a ball because that would be the ball game for the simple reason if Oklahoma even took it down and scored, Brent, Kansas would not have to take the ball in bounds because it's under five seconds and Tubbs has no more timeout. So this whole game rides on these three points. It is only appropriate that for the Kansas Jayhawks, it comes down to Danny Manning at the free throw line. His line on the night. He's three of five from the free throw line. Now for an NCAA championship, and no one will be prouder than his papa. Well, Brett, if he makes this free throw, this game is over, because even if Oklahoma scores, Kansas doesn't have to take it out of bounds. Now Danny Manning shooting to give the Kansas Jayhawks their second national championship. Kansas has won it! impossible now as long as Kansas does not foul for Oklahoma to win the game. Larry Brown can't believe it. The Kansas Jayhawks have beaten all odds. They have lost more games than any champion in the history of the NCAA. And Bedlam reigns here in Kansas City. As the Jayhawks beat the Sooners 83 to 79. ladies and gentlemen is why they play these games if we decided them on paper there'd be no use showing up in the arena and enjoying emotions such as Larry Brown did or the heartbreak felt by Billy Tubbs and the Sooners of Oklahoma who came so close to winning their first ever national championship they were matched against simply a marvelous talent Danny Manning there have been doubters throughout the last two years of his career let there be no more doubters. Danny Manning has turned in one of the greatest years ever in the history of college basketball. We're going to come back. We'll hear from Danny Manning and the architect, Larry Brown, and we continue in a moment.
celebration continues in Kemper Arena. Simply put, it was another championship game classic. And the Chevy MVPs from this contest, who else but, of course, Danny Manning for the Kansas Jayhawks. 31 points, 18 rebounds for Manning. Dave Seeger for Oklahoma. Let's go back down courtside. Brent Musburger and Billy Packer. The celebration continuing here for Larry Brown, Danny Manning, and everybody else on this Kansas team. Danny, congratulations. This was a fabulous performance. Thanks a lot. Uh, this is great to be able to finish our, our collegiate career in national champs and playing in front of our home fans in Kansas City is great. Larry, we talked October 15th, all the adversity that's come against this club. And right on this very floor, about three weeks ago, you guys went home from the Big 8 tournament. Now you're back with the national championship. How in the world does something like that happen over a period of three weeks? I think it happens because we got great seniors and uh, you know we have a super, super player. And it's, I, I can't even express myself. I never, I don't even know how to say it. It's like, I don't know how to say national champs, but I'm going to learn That's how. what you are, Larry. Oh, Larry. One, one other question I want to ask you, Brent. In regard to the pace of this game in the first half, 50 points, all-time record. I personally didn't believe you could contain, contain them that way and sustain that type of pace. The second half just changed it around completely. How did you make the change? Well, I, I tried to get the kids to just think if we could get into the last five minutes with it close. They haven't been there in a long time, and I couldn't slow them down, and finally the kids did it. Billy, here I am with the inspirational leader of this team, Archie Marshall. Archie in uniform tonight. H how did you feel? What were you going through over there on the sideline? A lot of excitement. I was I was excited throughout the whole game, and, and uh, we're national champions, champions right now, and it's something that I always wanted as a, as a person, and our whole team is something we always wanted together, and that was one of our main goals from the beginning, and, and we got it. All right, congratulations again. A marvelous job by the Kansas Jayhawks, and we'll continue from Kansas City in just a moment. The Kansas Jayhawks have won the national championship. This is a team that rarely loses at home. In fact, at Allen Fieldhouse, they had a winning streak of 55 straight, snapped this season. Three home losses this year to Kansas State, Duke, and Oklahoma. And to win the national championship, the Jayhawks beat Kansas State to advance to the Final Four, Duke to advance to the championship game, and Oklahoma to win it all today. Let's go down to James Brown now. All right, Jim, I'm with the losing coach, Billy Tubbs, and obviously, Coach, a very tough situation for you. My question is, this is the third time you met these guys. Do you think familiarity served them well in tonight's game? No, I don't really think familiarity was a factor at all. They just played an outstanding game, probably the best game they've played all year. Coach, were you surprised in the first half that they came out trying to get into a foot race with you? Nope, not at all. The second half, again, decidedly different tempo they slowed it up what were you trying to accomplish in the second half then? Well, we were just trying to accomplish getting a lead and holding on to it and making them come to us coach again a great year on your part congratulations getting this far okay, thank you all right coach billy tubbs let's go back upstairs to jim nance and the jayhawks continue to tear down the net they have won the national championship we'll come back with some final thoughts on cbs in just a moment one thing for certain America loves an underdog and tonight in America's heartland the Kansas Jayhawks pulled it off behind a brilliant performance by Danny Manning and now as we leave Kansas City and look ahead to next year in Seattle here's a tribute to the people who have brought you the sights and sounds of this 50th NCAA tournament followed by our salute to the players and coaches who have given us more than one shining moment